In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install two sample or dummy PostgreSQL databases through PG Admin 4. All right, so to get started adding our sample or dummy databases into PostgreSQL, we wanna go ahead and download the databases. So I'll have a link down below in the description of this video. Uh, we go ahead, follow the link and go ahead, download the file. I'm gonna save it to the desktop real quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually, it's a zip file. So let me go to the desktop real quick, close that. And I'm gonna go ahead and extract all and extract. All right, so if we open this folder here, you'll see we got four files. We have our two databases, northwind.tar and pagilla.tar. Those are our two sample dummy databases. And then we also have two PDFs that are the ERDs or entity relationship diagrams for the databases. And if you don't know, an ERD is basically how the different tables in the database are connected together. So here is the Northwind database. So we can see, you know, that it's got, I don't know, 10, 12 tables in it. And we can see which uh, keys, the primary keys and the foreign keys and how the different tables are connected. So then when we run queries, we could get the information we want. So it gives us like a, a blueprint or schematic of the database, which is very helpful for running queries and seeing where everything is. So uh, th this will be very helpful. And then of course we have those same concept for the Pagilla database as well right here. And if you watch any more of my videos on queries and SQL, we'll be using these ERDs, entity relationship diagram, a bunch. So we'll get really intimately familiar with them. So anyway, these are in that file and folder. Now let's go ahead and load up PG admin because that's our tool that we're gonna be using for all of our uh, post -SQL, PostgreSQL uh, files or queries and database stuff, right? All right, so here we are. Let's drop down servers and we can right click on database and I'm gonna do create database and I'm gonna do Northwind2. I already have Northwind installed and I can't just install it again as the same name. So I'll be Northwind2, but if you're installing it for the first time, you can just do Northwind or you can name it something else if you want to, but Northwind and Pagilla are well-known sample databases, so I recommend using the same name. So that way, if you have questions or wanna do some Googling on the Northwind database, you can do that, because you'll remember what it's called. Anyway, we'll leave that Northwind to, and just hit save. And we'll see, now I have Northwind 2 down below. I can right click on it. And what I wanna go ahead and do is hit restore and I got custom or tar. That's what I wanna do. I got those two tar files, right? And file name, we'll click these three dots here and we'll go ahead and open our folder or navigate to it wherever you might've saved the databases. And uh, we wanna change this format down here to all. So that way we can find the files and we got our Northwind tar. So I'll click on it and I'll hit select. And then I'll go with restore. And we got a little error code here. Uh, we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't impact us at all. Uh, we can see now our Northwind 2 database is brown or gold or something to that effect. And we can go to our schemas and we can go to our tables and we see our 14 tables right there for our Northwind database. So that's how you go ahead and add the database. I'm gonna do it now for Pagilla. Right click, create database. Uh, Pagilla 2 and save and then right click and restore and file name and make sure we have all files selected pagilla.tar select restore probably get an error message six but it still says successfully completed so who, who knows I don't know why we get those error messages sometimes uh, because it still seems to work and so if I go into my, my database, I see my tables are all there and ta-da, we are good to go. Now I could go into the database, of course, and start running queries. Select all from city, F5, 
and boom, I ran my first query to select all from the city table right here. So city, and I'm in the Pagilla database. And here's my query results. And also note, if you wanna go between databases, you click on it, and then you come up to the top here to run a new query. And you can kind of see it has tabs, so you can go kind of between the different uh, databases you have. So I have the Pagilla 2 database, Northwind database, so I can run queries on Northwind 2 now. So select all from orders at five, and boom, there's all my orders. So that's how you install different databases or two different sample dummy databases on PG Admin uh, for post PostgreSQL. If you found this video helpful at all, I appreciate any subscribes, likes, comments, etc. And I hope you have a great day.